You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. A hey, news top five. You up the bat. Bah! Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022 focus on you in 2022 man but we back with another nukes top five man we got top five scary ghost videos for horrible nightmares you already know i need you to drop with you in the chat man if you with me we back with another one man so let's go ahead and get into it fire squad what's popping let's get it Five ghosts caught on camera. Lady in the water. Debbie Morales and her friends are tubing down the canals of the Isabella River in Puerto Rico when she begins to record with her phone. Debbie can be heard screaming and laughing until her camera catches something in the water that quickly makes her lose her voice. Debbie posted the video to Facebook saying that she saw a scary apparition in the water. She asked friends to take a look and see if they saw the same thing in the video. And they did. Online viewers speculated that the image could be anything from the ghost of a drowning victim to a body in the water. And some even went so far as to suggest that it might be a mermaid. Hmm. Now the most bizarre part of this video is that whatever this is almost seems to lunge toward Debbie before disappearing back into the water. But what do you think? Is this just a strange trick of the light or a reflection? Or did Debbie catch something supernatural on camera? You decide. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok. TikTok user Alexander Henderson says that throughout his life he's always been prone to sleepwalk during the night. One morning he wakes up to find his front door wide open. When he checks oh, his security shit. camera, he's shocked by what he finds. He's sleepwalking for real, huh? because I thought it was haunted. I can't explain what just happened. I didn't go to sleep in a sweater. What? Is he sleepwalking or is he awake right now? Alexander seems to be sleepwalking and speaking gibberish when something hanging next to the door starts swinging around on its own and an empty water jug slides right across the floor. Alexander opens the door, walks outside, and suddenly screams. He says he has no recollection of what happened to him and has no idea why he screamed. Now, Alexander says he's experienced supernatural activity before, so he begins to suspect that he might have seen something paranormal while sleepwalking. Then, only a day later, this happens. A chair moves on its own, the fridge door opens, and what appears to be a pack of plastic spoons is launched off the kitchen counter. Over the next few months, uh, nothing much happens. But then late one night, Alexander is hanging out at his friend Adam's house when he sees something truly chilling. Oh shit! I recorded this creepy lady. The 
neighbors heard someone screaming bad words and threats, she doesn't live there. When Adam arrived, she was gone. A strange looking woman wearing a red dress appears to be watching Alexander from the building across the street. Alexander claims that when his friend Adam finally came over to see what was going on, the creepy woman had disappeared. While there, Adam asks Alexander to take a look at a speaker that's been acting up and might be broken. Alexander is still recording and captures something terrifying. Man, don't do no stupid shit. The button on the top is pressing. There's a few here, see? Press the one in the middle. Oh, hell no. Did you see it? In the reflection of the window, the same woman in red can suddenly be seen standing behind Alexander in the doorway. When he pans around, the woman has moved in an instant and is now standing right next to him. What? Who or what could this eerie looking figure be? Could it be a spirit that attached itself nah, to the sleepwalking bullshit. TikTok user? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It could be you decide. Hoax, this next creepy video went viral on TikTok, but it was originally recorded by Indonesian Twitter user Gusta Dang. Gus explains on Twitter that he was flying from Surabaya, Indonesia to Bali and that he was the very first passenger to board the empty plane. As Gus is boarding, he records a video to send back to his wife. When he looks back at his footage, he spots something truly chilling. <laughs> Someone or something that seems to be cloaked in black can be seen moving around in one of the seats. But when Goose walks by the seat, there's no one there. Gusta Dang's video has been watched over 14 million times, and many viewers believe that the strange figure in the video could be the spirit of a deceased passenger. But what do you think? Bro, I got chills, bro. Take that user lie. Jim works at what he believes to be a haunted hospital in New Jersey. Early one afternoon, a security camera in one of the hospital's hallways captures something very creepy during Jim's shift. A supply cart can be seen rolling down the hallway on its own, freaking out the hospital staff nearby. Jim and his co-workers have no idea what could have moved the cart. But things are about to get even stranger. Another CCTV camera in the hospital's laundry room records something absolutely unnerving. Record it from here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> Jim. Send me the video when you... Oh, what? I'm gonna. The best is when the other one comes over. It's like it, it didn't want to see the front of it. You know, it's yeah. funded so that he didn't have to look at it no more. Whoever's in their room. Oh, my God. Jim. Madeline, you didn't see... Come and look at the second one. Oh, Here comes the second shit. one. No, the second one's moving now. No way. Watch the second one, then the second one falls off. And the lady comes in from Dude Died Nice, she don't know what to say. She was like... She was on FaceTime with somebody. Oh, watch. watch the second one. Any second. <laughs> it happens. Look, here goes. Look. It happens. Look. This does not happen. Look. It's the ghost. Happens. Look. Look at it. Who's spinning? That's a big ass... It's spinning. It's Washing spinning machine. It's gotta be spinning. There's no way, no way that they're spinning. There, there's no way. I don't care if it's bolted or not. They're, they're, they don't spin like that. Mine ain't bolted in my house. Mine don't come and walk around my... <laughs> <That's true. laughs> look. Look. Oh. Look. look how that one just came out. How'd oh. it come out like that? 
Mm-mm. That was pushed out. I don't yep. care what nobody says. You can tell me whatever you want. Me too. I can't wait to show everybody. <laughs> look here, wait. Where's Keith? Show them the thing. Look here. Look. <gasps> look at Bro, this. what? Look. Oh no, 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 no. No way. There's a ghost here. No way. I'm showing them the ghost in the back. The ghost? Oh, did you, did you ever see what happened last night? Forgot about it. The laundry. We'll die. Why? We'll die. The laundry, all the laundry things in there. Yeah. They just start moving. There. They just start coming out and moving and going in circles and what you call it. Uh-huh. Come and look. Yeah. But it's crazy. I never saw anything like it in my whole life. Heavy washers and dryers slide across the floor as if they weigh nothing, seemingly right. moved by some unseen force. Jim and his fellow hospital workers can't believe their eyes as they watch the CCTV monitor. Now, even I'm not sure just what's going on here. Could it be that the hospital is indeed haunted, like Jim says? Or just what could be spinning around multiple heavy washers all at the same time? Hell. Let me know what you think. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Haunting in Carmel, Maine. Kent Burris has been recording all of the strange supernatural activity going on in his haunted home for many years now and posting his experiences to his YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. In his latest YouTube docuseries about the house, Kent reveals some chilling, never before seen footage. Now lately, Kent believes that the paranormal presence in his home has become much more sinister and aggressive. The haunting has become so extreme that it now seems that the spirits are actually out to hurt Kent. During a spirit box session, Kent captures a chilling message. I got chills. I got chills. What? Kill Kent. What'd you say? What? What'd you say? Attention. Attention. Oh, hell nah. Hell nah. Bro, I got chills everywhere. Did you say murder, Kent? That's the second time I've heard that. I would have swore. A few minutes ago, I heard them say, kill, kill Kent. And just a second ago, I would have swore I heard them say, murder Kent. Now, threats are one thing, but what happens next is downright terrifying. Two hours after, kill Kent. Unexplained, continuous sound. What the hell is that noise? Man, don't go down that motherfucker. Don't go down that motherfucker, bro. That shit gonna blow the fuck up. What the hell? There is no doubt that if I stepped down in that water, I would have been electrocuted. The heater motor was in the water, and for some reason, the breaker never tripped. And on top of the fact that that water was splashing all over the breaker panel, I have no doubt if I would have stepped down in that water, I would have been dead. And the only thing that saved me was remembering the voices just prior that said, kill Kent, murder Kent. That's what stopped me from stepping down in that water. Hell no. The heater motor was in the water. That's just weird. Hell no. Kent's basement suddenly floods and high voltage lines are making contact with the water. Kent is convinced that he could have lost his life if he hadn't been so wary of the ominous threats that he had received earlier. 
when Ken is walking through the main floor of his home, he experiences something that chills him to his core. I'm in my house. A shadow figure is standing at the top of the staircase, seemingly waiting for Kent in the darkness. <laughs> Shocked by the sudden appearance, Kent has had enough for a while Hell and just nah. steps outside and into the cold main snow. Hell no. Nah. Kent's encounters have been widely viewed by his YouTube audience and even privately investigated by paranormal groups. All believe that the house in Carmel, Maine is severely haunted by something sinister. Um. Getting well, you got the, the chance to come in and investigate the Lamb House, it is truly an experience that I will never, ever forget. The amount of activity and interaction is just mind-blowing. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Fuck that. Closet space. Fuck that. In this next extremely spooky video from Japan, real estate agents can be seen giving a tour of an empty apartment to a potential renter. The woman is interested in renting and says that she is surprised by the low monthly price. As she tours the apartment, she records a video with her phone to review later. But when she's all alone in one of the apartment's bedrooms, things take a terrifying turn. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yes, okay. yeah, on your left. How about the air conditioner? It's there. Right, we have to install one. Oh, if that's okay, it's on us. Because they're one already. Unexplained noises. This noise, bruh. Why she got the camera pointed on the floor like that? Don't open that shit. 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 Oh, nah. This shit. Oh, shit. The woman is frozen in fear when two pale hands grab her by the legs. Then as she looks up, a terrifying face can be seen peeking out from the top of the bedroom closet. Now, as with most Japanese videos, the source of this clip is impossible to find. And I have no idea what happened afterwards. So is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Viewer videos. This next video was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous. He explains in his email that he's in the United States military and is stationed at a US military post in Germany. He says that two of his friends were out on a regular patrol checking out a creepy old German chapel. Now this chapel was controlled by German military forces during the Second World War and it is said to be extremely haunted. As the two men check out the dark chapel, they are shocked when they start to hear unexplained voices coming through their two-way radios. I'm fucked up. Yeah. 
Oh my god. That's our radios going off in the church. I don't know if somebody's hot micing or not. Man, hell nah, man. There's the one that up. They open. I'm fucked up still. Can, can it, it, it turned off. We were just standing at the, the top of the pews, basically, and our radios just started going off. And there was voices and like a lady whispering in it, I swear to God. And nobody said hot mic. Because the, the desk radio can say hot mic over the, yeah. and it'll, it'll cut me. over it. Yeah. And it wasn't us because we would have heard each other talking. Send that stuff to stand, dude. What seems to be the voice of a child can be heard, followed by the inaudible voices of adults. Now the radio channel that they are using is restricted to military communication. So the two men have no idea where the voices could be coming from or what they are saying. They wonder if it could possibly be the ghosts of tragic souls that passed away during the Second World War. But what do you think these voices are? And just what could they be saying? Let me know what you think. A Nukes Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous reached out to me about a very spooky situation he found himself in late one night at an abandoned church in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. The viewer explains in his email that he works security and is dispatched to investigate buildings where motion-activated alarms have been triggered. Late one night, he gets a call that a motion alarm has been triggered on the second floor of a creepy old abandoned church. When he arrives, he sees something suspicious and begins to record. What he captures is truly disturbing. Oh, what the f Oh, what the f Bro, lock your doors or something. Or leave. Someone or something small and dark can be seen moving away from the second floor window. Now prior to this encounter, the security guard says that he had checked all doors into the building and they all were locked tight. He immediately calls the police to the scene to investigate, but they find no one inside and no way that anyone could have gained entry. The mysterious sighting caught on camera remains a mystery, but of course, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. All right, that was Nukes Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos for Horrible Nightmares. Brother one with the lady at the apartment had me fucked up. Like I was fucked up. I, that could have been fake, but I was still fucked up. If you made it to the end, I need you to draw a real one. I'm still fucked up. 
Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.